I'm Keith Olbermann, and this is The Resistance. As we hit the 100-day benchmark of the Trump, quote, presidency, unquote, let's review his accomplishments. Not accomplishments by our standards, not by human standards, just by the stuff he promised to do for those greedy, hateful, and or naive people who voted for him. Let's list all that he's done for them. Yep, in the first 100 days, he's got nothing done for them. With the Republican House and Republican Senate and a Russian election in the first 100 days, he's got nothing done. With the great nationwide, worldwide liberating effects of the populist wave to throw the baby out with the bathwater, in the first 100 days, he's got nothing done. With one television network dedicated to deliberately falsifying reality to make it fit his addled mind as he sits in a bathrobe watching it. With other networks wasting live coverage on his public speeches, his garbled, nonsensical stream of semi-consciousness, as if they were actually news. In the first hundred days, he's gotten nothing done. This truth, utter impotence, is of course his greatest fear. He confessed it on Twitter last Friday. No matter how much I accomplished during the ridiculous standard of the first hundred days, and it has been a lot, including Supreme Court, media will kill. You do not need to be a psychoanalyst to decode the sense of failure in that, though it helps to remember the context of that phrase, the ridiculous standard of the first hundred days. Who set the ridiculous standard of the first hundred days? He did. Here is candidate Trump's contract with the American voter, his, quote, 100-day action plan to make America great again. Contract, his word. Just sign here, like you were enrolling in Trump University. There's lots of lull-worthy stuff on the first page. Column one ends with, third, I will direct the Secretary of the Treasury to label China a currency manipulator. Quote, why would I call China a currency manipulator when they are working with us on the North Korea problem? Well, because you put it in the contract that you would in the first hundred days. Tick, 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 tick. By the way, for the uninformed, you have just gotten a taste of doing business with Trump, but it's in the contract. So sue me. The second column ends with suspend immigration from terror prone regions where vetting cannot safely occur. Yeah, how's that going for you, Sparky? What's funny is the thing he boasted about in that desperate tweet, it has been a lot, including Supreme Court, media will kill. The SC part, of course, was the confirmation of Gorsuch to the Supreme Court. Wow, a Republican president got a Republican Senate to reprove a Republican nominee because the Republican majority leader is such a craven turtle that he destroyed two pillars of the democracy. Getting that new nominee confirmed that isn't even in the Trump contract begin the process of selecting a replacement for Justice Scalia. As I said, there are some good laughs on the front page of yet another worthless Trump contract about all the things he guaranteed he would do during his ridiculous standard of the first hundred days that he's just outright failed at. But it's the back page where the fun really begins. Here's all the legislation he was going to, at minimum, get introduced into Congress. A bill to create 25 million new jobs. Nope. A bill to punish sending jobs out of the country. Nope. A bill to spend a trillion dollars on infrastructure. Nope. A bill to give parents total choice on schooling, even religious schooling, presumably at government expense. Nope. A bill to repeal Obamacare. And how's that going for you, Sparky? Why, when I think of him threatening to defund Obamacare unless Democrats support the border wall, why do I get an image of Cleavon Little in blazing saddles, holding a gun to his own head and saying, Hold it! The next man that makes a move, the... Moving on. A Child Care and Elder Care Act that hasn't been written. A bill to fund that wall that reportedly not one congressman or senator from the states where the wall would be has said he will support. An anti-gang bill. A bill preventing international cyber attack. Yeah, kind of swing and a miss right there. 
And lastly, the Clean Up Corruption in Washington Act enacts new ethics reforms to drain the swamp and reduce the corrupting influence of special interests on our politics. Presumably that was to be commemorated by a series of Ivanka Trump signature brand drain the swamp formal wear and accessories manufactured in China and available exclusively at the spa by Ivanka Trump at Trump Old Post Office Hotel for Wayward Diplomats, Washington, D.C. 2004. He's gotten nothing done. And remember, nobody, nobody said to him, you have to do this in the first hundred days or you will be a failure. He said that. So what do you do when the homework has to be handed in in the morning and you haven't even found your textbooks yet? You claim there was no such homework. I think the 100 days is, you know, it's an artificial barrier, he said. It's not very meaningful, he said. Somebody, yeah, somebody put out the concept of a 100-day plan. You put it out! The somebody with the concept of a 100-day plan was you! That's your name, moron! Right there, moron! T-R-U-M-P, moron! So what do you do then when your denial that there was homework also fails utterly? Well, you claim the teacher got the due date wrong. The 100 days is just an artificial barrier. The press keeps talking about the 100 days. I've only been working on the health care. You know, I had to get a little grounding, right? Health care started after 30 days, so I've been working on health care for 60 days. We're very close. Ah, uh, see, that's it. This isn't really 100 days. This is only 60 days. Who are you going to believe, me or your lying calendar? If ever you needed additional confirmation that this man's brain does not work right, there it is. At the 100-day mark that was so important to him that he wrote up a phony contract predicated on it, he is such a failure that he is blaming the 100 days on the media and actually claiming that it isn't really 100 days anyway. No matter how much I accomplished during the ridiculous standard of the first 100 days, and it has been a lot, including SC, media will kill. His greatest fear. So let's help him celebrate the 100-day mark. He doesn't desperately search Twitter for compliments as much as he used to, but it is clear he still does it once in a while. Let's flood it with tweets now, congratulating him on having completely failed at everything in the first 100 days, including even counting 200 days. Let's have him figuratively wading knee-deep in tweets at the White House. And don't forget, since he claims this is not really 100 days, but only 60, we get to flood Twitter again and congratulate him on even more failure on the 100-day mark in alternate facts land, which I calculate to be Thursday, June 8th. Mark your calendars. Unless by then he's ordered that we change all the calendars, which would make that date Trump Day, the 3rd of Trump-vember. Resist. Peace.